Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the last of the year, unfortunately, Lehigh Valley Phantoms weekend recap. That should have consisted of one win, but because of a ref's blindness as a bat, did not consist of one win where Fitzgerald in the last game on Sunday, yesterday's game that the Phantoms lost 4-3 to three in a shootout, should have won 4-3 to three in overtime because Fitzgerald scored when he drove the net and then was able to bat it in later on in the play, but the ref just did not see it, so the Phantoms should have won that game. They ended up losing the weekend series in both games to Wilkes-Barre Scram on Saturday in a hard-fought playoff atmosphere with a couple fights in the game. Allison tried to fight in the first, ended up getting a fight in the third. It was a very fun game. I went back and watched it before um, going to bed that evening. I wasn't able to watch it live, but that was a very fun game that had a very much playoff atmosphere. I thought McIntyre played a very good game in that game. It's just the Phantoms did not bring their ante until really their first period was off in that game. They got going in the second and really were able to get it in the third. But you can't really do that against a team that actually, in Wilkes-Barre, brought their record back to 500. It was a pretty scrappy team in the second half of this short AHL season. So you don't want to give them any chances, and you gave Gruden chance. And then in OT, you gave Kesper Bjorkquist a very good chance there on the opposing rush after the Phantoms had a rush themselves that got stopped by Wilkes-Barre. Then the opposing one shown on assist by Jordan Bellarive. Uh, Bjorkquist, uh, Kasper Bjorkquist for Wilkes-Barre was able to cap it off. So that was an unfortunate loss for the Phantoms in a playoff-like atmosphere. But that was actually a game that Wilkes-Barre played really well. They really outmatched the Phantoms by a wee bit in that game and actually probably played a bit better than Lehigh Valley in that game. So they deserved that one. Where Sunday, <clears throat> the Phantoms actually played Binghamton. They allowed them to get too much shots. You shouldn't let a team with six wins that that gave them their seventh win. Unfortunately, the last game of franchise history, that's sad to see. Hopefully, they figure something out there because hockey, it's like minor league baseball teams, minor league hockey teams. They're big in the community. They really help the communities, not just monetarily, but also just for morale and for people just to go to the games, have a good time, have a family atmosphere at the games. That That's really helpful in minor league hockey and minor league baseball and taking we saw the effects from the communities if you read articles on the athletic and other platform about how the community is already affected from losing minor league baseball team uh we'll probably see that with binghamton with the uh ahl and so i feel like it's kind of sad that they're going to be losing their team but they were able to beat the phantoms though in the final game in a shootout due to the fact of a disallowed well not a disallowed goal because it was called no goal on the ice but an unseen goal that should have been a goal by Ryan Fitzgerald for a second of the game to give him this team-leading 13th instead of ending with this team-leading 12th goal. So this was a very good game, though. Willman, a guy that played well all season, got his two-year um, two-way contract um, during the season, of course, to be able to get caught up starting next year. Was able to capitalize in this game, assist by Lonis Hogberg, who played very well as a rookie this year, and Tyler Watherspoon, one of the veteran now in the AHL defenseman, and then O'Reilly, who of course got his 500th this year, is able to get another assist on the line as Sandine one-timer, and then Fitzy scored, like I said, Ryan Fitzgerald was able to score, assisted by Wilderspoon and O'Reilly, who had two assists in the final game, so he continued to play like a bat out of hell to round out the season. All these guys in the post-game press talk about how they're still playing to win, nobody ever wants to lose, you're playing for your pride and everything, and you saw that. The Saturday game was a playoff-like atmosphere. Then this Sunday game, the last game yesterday that they unfortunately lost because the ref did not see the Fitzgerald goal go in, which is crap. But hopefully next well, next year they'll have replay back, thank God, because they should be able to pay for it and have everything to be able to do it. I understand why they didn't have it this year because, you're, one, you're not going to have the playoffs. There's not as much um, reasoning behind to have it. And then also it's more fun, just more stuff they have to do when they're not getting as much money on the back end. So I get that, but next year you have to have it back because plays like that are going to obviously have a real big X factor in an entire season because you might be one point or one game, excuse me, away from being able to be the team that, say, is in first place rather than second place because then you lose a tiebreaker or you just lose being tied with the team to win the tiebreaker because of that one game and one blown call. But because the playoffs are not the case this year, wasn't as big of a deal. It was still very frustrating and very angering. I was really mad yesterday when that was the – reason why the team lost but after being able to chill do this video today <clears throat> it is what it is but the phantom should have won that game they really should have won one out of two for the weekend they get swept because the ref couldn't see the fitzgerald 
goal, but they played very well this weekend. They rounded out their season really well in a playoff-like atmosphere on Saturday that Zane McIntyre, who played great the entire season in net, rounded out his season really well. And then you saw Fitzgerald, who's been playing great all season, have a good weekend. You saw Willman have a good weekend. You saw Sandine have a good weekend. We saw Brennan Saunier, I also have to bring up as the roundup point in this video, re-sign to stay with the Phantom. The very good, tough, gritty-esque player on the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. I got a hat trick the other day. Of course, that's a very tough-as-nails player. Very fun to watch. Block shots for days and also will be physical. Go up against anybody. A very fun player to watch. So congratulations for him for coming back. But I hope you all enjoyed this video of the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, the last, unfortunately, of the season weekend recap where they should have been able to take one of two. The ref missed a goal in the game against Binghamton yesterday, but unfortunately they lose both of the weekend series. But both were fun games to watch. A very playoff-like oriented atmosphere on Saturday. Still a semi, but because it's a Devils team that's been out for a while, a playoff-like atmosphere Sunday. Still a more tough uh, atmosphere that they should have been able to win in that good battle on Sunday against Binghamton, but then the ref just did not see the goal. I thought Sandstrom still played a solid game in that game. Both goalies rounded out the season well. The Phantoms just unfortunately got unlucky with a call by the referee. Please stay tuned for the video I'm going to do for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms season roundup where I do my team awards, which is for best goaltender that I thought was the best goaltender for the team. The guy that I thought, usually for defensemen, I'll do two because I'll do the best defenseman overall and then the best young defenseman. And then I'm going to do who I thought was the uh, MVP offensively of the team and then maybe the best uh, newcomer we'll throw in there as well. We'll see when it comes to that last one. But that's going to be coming up soon, either tomorrow or later today. So please stay tuned for that video where I do my season roundup of the Phantoms with the team awards that I just give out for different teams each year. Not the awards that are actually given out by the team, but ones that I name just to give guys some props. So have a great save and pleasant day, everybody. It's been a great season of Phantoms hockey. They had a great year this year. They're going to come back next year stronger and I think have a very good chance to be in a very good spot in the Calder playoffs when they're actually finally back next year to have a chance to go for the Calder Cup. So I think this team's going to be exciting and be mighty fun again next year to have a chance to go there and actually get that destiny of not just getting to a Calder Cup, but maybe with how good and depth in this team is, maybe even winning one. So I'll we'll talk about <clears throat> that more in some later off-season videos when the Phantoms will see how the roster shapes out closer to the season. But I'm really excited with how good this season was moving into next season. And I hope everybody else is too. Please subscribe here. We really appreciate your support. NF Flyers, Nitty Gritty, and Steel Flyers as well. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy all the great playoff hockey action in the NHL.